Hello everybody, it's Chad. I'm just going to try to make this a quick video because I just have one topic to talk about. Um, as you may or may not know, by now, uh, I'm sure you will tomorrow morning, um, as I called August 8th, about two or three days ago now, um, the CME group raised gold margin call requirements up 22%. Wow, how did I figure that one out? Well, you know, it's very sad to say this, but I'm starting to think like a crook. I'm starting to think like these damn crooks are, you know? That's the way, that's part of the reason why I'm able to stay out of the, the, the crowd right now. It's ridiculous, you know? The thing is, is as I'm looking at Kitco charts here, the last gold margin call requirement increase was in January, okay? Just looking at a quick chart here, that was somewhere in the in the neighborhood of between 1350 and say 1390 per ounce. You're telling me it took them this long to raise raise margin call requirements? Margin margin call requirements are a good thing. Okay, it keeps a bull market in check, so it's not run away. You know, I understand that. It's also healthy because those, I've already made a video out this, and then what I'll do in this video is I'll uh, put a, uh, uh, a link for the video description area for a video response. I'll put that video I made in there along with silver, because we all know what happened with silver, right? Um, this is getting to be kind of ridiculous at this point in time. Um, people that had said that this is not a ways and means of manipulating the marketplace, you got to ask yourself, why are they waiting these this long to, to put in margin call requirement increases? Why is that? Main reason being is because, first off, it's very interesting with the timing on these things. Um, it's very blunt and obvious that they're increasing the margin call requirements during a quick rise up where each resistance point on the upper scale is being knocked out, right? I know they have to increase that because those that put out money for those to buy on margin have to also have less risk for the borrower to the borrowee. Therefore, as the price increases, you know, they have to increase that. So there's less and less risk in those that are borrowing on margin, which is not a good thing. And I think someday soon that will be limited. Um, we'll start to see that become more of a um, buy your your futures and option positions and paper markets based upon liquid capital that you have and not borrowing on your margin. So it's just getting very blunt and obvious at this point in time. Um, yes, we had a very quick rise up. And the thing is, is it just don't make any sense to me. Why would you wait so long to do this? Why would you not increase it gradually, right? It's the same thing with silver. This reminds me a lot of how um, they use these mechanisms from actual inflation that's taking place, such as in, in the uh, energy sector, right? They increased margin call requirements there also. Also, at the same time, adding oil from strategic reserves to try to knock down the price, adding supply to the marketplace. These are all nothing more than teeny little tools in this giant toolbox that the forces to be have to try to knock down commodity prices for the reckless monetary um, policies that they're pursuing. That's all it is. It's really starting to become quite a joke at this point in time. Um, so, you know, yet again, I, I figured that this was going to end up happening. Um, the thing, and I'll, I'll stress this, this is the last point I want to make in this video. It's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. Because the last time we had a uh, margin call requirement increase in gold back in January, the, um, I think I'm pronouncing this right, I don't have the exact name, but I think you all know what I mean. The uh, uh, A Metals Exchange that started up about three weeks ago or so. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see how this uh, how this kicks in. I would think that with any price drop we're going to have, we're quickly going to reach a base. We're going to establish a base, 
and we're going to rise up again once again from that point because um, the supply demand factor when the price comes down buyers rush in to buy at that point in time because they realize that's a bargain buy um, I think this is just going to be one of those little fire sales. You ever see Atmax with all the little fire sales they got going on? You know, we get you know, 99 cents over spot. Well, get ready because this is probably going to be a fire sale. I don't know how far we're going to come down. Yes, we're going to correct. Um, but hey, um, eventually those that are speculating with buying our margin will eventually start to leave the market, which is a good thing because in a sense all these traders that push into the market with speculation driving up the price way too much because causing market instability forcing the CME group to increase the margin recalls because of all the speculation coming in the market just like we see in silver right now in gold right um, many different reasons why they are waiting way too late I don't even know David Morgan also had commented that James Turk Eric Sprott, many people have commented on why they wait so long to increase the margin call requirements. I'd love to know why. Um, but with that said, it's going to be very interesting to see how this new uh, Asian metals exchange takes this. Um, and I would think that we're quickly going to see a support buying um, on this, especially from the East um, and from the West. So um, such as many, many people had said, um, last point I want to make, Again, this is not being a short video. I always say it's a short video, but I always have things firing through my, my head when I'm making a video. Um, people like uh, the other you know metal heads on here uh, with their channels, a uh, few people had, I remember notes saying that uh, eventually these margin call requirements are going to come to a um, breaking point to where eventually um, it's going to null and void itself in a sense. And I think we're we're starting to get to this point uh, slowly uh, every single day, um, and this is just another one of those nails in that coffin to get to that point. So um, it covers everything I want to say in this video. Um, that's it for now. It's Chad, and I'll uh, probably be posting a video you know later in the week, down Friday, Saturday, the weekend, somewhere in there. So or if events happen or whatever, up you know I'll fire a video up. So uh, that's it for now. It's Chad. Y'all take care.